At Aspire Coronation Trust Foundation, Act Foundation, we are very strong on civil society support and we try to engage initiatives that facilitate learning and growth for the sector. To better understand how nonprofits and the social sector as a whole have been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, in the last quarter of 2020, we decided to undertake a study to capture the impact of COVID on the sector. In this video, we will share with you what the data tells us about the impact, the challenges and urgent needs of nonprofits, and also recommend what the development community must do to navigate the ongoing crisis and build back stronger. The data from this research represents the views and experiences of over 400 organizations from 27 African countries. The majority of the respondents are from non-profit organizations. I'll highlight a few of our significant findings, but should you need to dig deeper, please read the full report which is available on our website. COVID-19 has had a high level of impact on more than half of the organizations surveyed. Disruption of services to beneficiaries and access to funding were the areas with the most impact. Even in the face of lockdowns and other social distancing policies, 55% of organizations were able to deliver their programs and services virtually. Others who were unable to deliver their programs and services virtually attributed it to a number of factors. For such organizations, inability of beneficiaries to access the services remotely was the major challenge. From our analysis, we found out that 70% of organizations experienced a reduction in staff productivity. When we dug further to understand the reason behind the decline, poor internet connection stood out as the major culprit. With the global disruption, we expected a significant financial impact and about 80% of the respondents confirmed a decline in contributed revenue. Fundraising proved to be a serious challenge as only 16% of organizations indicated they have been able to raise funds for new donors. On a positive note, it was impressive to discover that the majority of the organizations were able to tap into financial reserves. This, of course, enabled organizations to continue on their mission and provide essential services to vulnerable population. We have seen our organizations have adapted and responded to the crisis. However, without additional support of the sector, we will not be able to quickly address the growing setbacks of the pandemic on vulnerable population. As a result, we ask targeted questions to determine non-financial support that non-profits require. I will present some of our findings in three priority areas. The first is operational support. Staff capacity development stood out as a top priority for responding organizations. Others are office rent, utilities, virtual work capacities, and virtual expert volunteers. The second is technology support, and according to the respondents, their top priorities for tech support are reliable internet access, digital skills training, and hardware connectivity. Lastly, for capacity building support, fundraising, Virtual monitoring and evaluation for implemented programs emerged as the top training needs for non-profit organizations. For social change organizations, we recommend the following. Continue on the digital transformation path. It is imperative that the sector must not relent in its adoption of technology for operations and service delivery. The future of work is here and COVID-19 made it abundantly clear that digital capacity are critical to business continuity and the long-term success of social change organizations. Secondly, conduct market research for beneficiaries. No voice is as crucial as those directly receiving services or benefiting from the organization's program. Constant engagement, monitoring, and listening to individuals who benefit from the organization's efforts will drive deeper understanding of their needs and interests. For the donor community, we recommend the following. Investment in digital infrastructure. New funding and support for digital technologies are needed to enable social sector organizations maximize their impact. 
now and in the long term. Provision of non-financial support. This can include capacity building programs, advocacy, knowledge sharing, and knowledge management. Reimagining the way we work is important in shaping recovery efforts now and in the future. Get more insights from the full reports, which is available on our website. We hope you will take some time and share your thoughts with us.